one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Hey everyone, my name is Dre LaRose. Uh, you are here seeing my show, Recent Works. Uh, it's up at 344 Second Street, storefront gallery in Troy. Uh, it is open until December 10th. Uh, uh, appointment only if you want to check out the show, but these are some of the works that I've made recently. Um, a lot of the imagery came from a recent trip that I took with my mother and three sisters. Uh, we went out west, did some hiking in Zion, uh, Arches, uh, and Angelo Canyon, uh, which if you guys are familiar with that area, you can probably see some of that imagery. Um, and this series of work uh, is still deeply Working on plexiglass now, which is actually kind of been fun for me. Uh, it allows me to work on the back side of the plexi while painting on the front. Again, kind of adds a little bit more to that dimensionality that I was talking about. Um, that's pretty much it for this uh, series of work. Have, have a look. Um, and thanks, Carolyn, for filming. You're welcome. This has a definite southwestern landscape vibe. Mm -hmm. A little yes. reminiscent of George O'Keefe. Yes, yeah. a lot of people said that. Really? <laughs> yeah, you know, um, well, you, you're familiar with my work, but, you know, for those of you watching right now, um, a lot of my work before this series had a lot of materials and textures that were more brick and mortar reference. Like, it wasn't photography. It was, you know, either I scanned marble, I scanned a piece of wood or something like that. But this series, it's the first time I've combined my own personal photography and that sort of material uh, imagery and for me that was so exciting because this body of work came out so quickly and I've never been able to make a body of work that quickly and I think part of that has to do with the fact that I used personal photography and I was never interested in that before but I think it made a huge difference. Um, and if you want to see what I'm talking about for like older work, um, this is only a couple of years old, but you know, this material that's scanned is actually a cutting board, like a cutting mat. Um, you can see there's a scan of a keyboard here, and this is just canvas kind of piled up and I scanned it. So a lot of my work from years previous had these sort of materials that feel very textile. They feel, you know what they are once you kind of really investigate and look at them. I wanted to combine that aspect with something, you know, a little bit more recognizable in terms of imagery, so that's when this newer work came out, uh, combining that, you know, the materials and the natural photograph. Well, you, I can see that these are really inspired, and I knew you had gone on that trip. That's your second time in that it's my area. fourth time. Oh, your fourth time. Okay. <laughs> well, so you're really connected to it. Yes. In a different way than... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if I could move anywhere, it would probably be the Southwest, I don't know where, but there's something about it, um, God, I think it's just like the landscape, you can just drive two hours in any direction, and it's different. Yeah, um, and it's not all green, it's not like New York green. State, yeah. which is a beautiful state, but it's all green at certain times of the year, Yeah, and yeah. it makes it really difficult to kind of distinguish yeah. the... Absolutely. Yeah, so I, I've been to the Southwest a couple of times, yeah. and so I really agree yeah. completely, and it does remind, you know, it really kind of brings back memories for me mm -hmm. of that time and place. Yeah. Because it doesn't change. No, no. It no. doesn't, yeah. There were a couple of people here at the opening that had been to the Southwest, and as mm -hmm. soon as they saw it, they, like, recognized yeah. it, and they, like, kind of felt transported back there. But I'm glad that you said, like, New York is very cool. I don't normally work with greens. That's one color that just never... It's a hard color to work with. It is. Yeah. So maybe that's why when I go down to the south, it's just like, it's orange and yellow. And I'm just really drawn to that more instead. Um, well, maybe you'll get to do an extended stay. I want to. I'm looking at residents.
shows and museums and things like that in the Southwest. So I feel like that yeah. would be for me to just be there for like a month. Yeah, it like makes I a could, big difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Um, so, do you want to talk about how this was funded? Sure. Okay. Uh, this was funded through the New York State NISCA grant. Uh, it was um, done through the Art Center of the Capital Region here in Troy. Uh, so I believe they had like over five hundred thousand um, dollars for either individual artists, um, arts organizations, or if you just wanted to do some sort of like pop up project. Um, Basically, you just go online, tell them what kind of project that you would like to do, um, and I fortunately was funded for this. Um, so it was a $2,500 grant. I'm super thankful. Uh, Joe at the Art Center, you're amazing. I appreciate you kind of helping me through that process. Um, and in addition to the show itself, um, there's also two um, series of workshops that um, are funded by the grant. Uh, one is happening a week from today, uh, the 22nd. Fortunately, both of those are filled, uh, but I do have two more workshops coming up on November 12th. Um, and in that workshop, I'm going to be teaching um, participants how to scan materials like I do, uh, how to take their own photography, bring it in digitally. I'll show them how to do like these kind of maneuvers that I do, change color, play with drop shadows, things like that. Uh, and then we'll print it, we'll mount it onto this sort of aluminum panel that I use. Actually, be hanging everyone's work from those workshops right here, um, okay. and inviting all of the artists that participated to the closing reception for a big party. Where are the workshops? They are right here. Oh, really? So, so yeah. you're bringing in equipment to do this here? Oh, so you don't. Know, okay. Participants don't have to bring in anything. Okay. Um, computers are provided. Gene uh, has been lovely enough to provide us with chairs, and tables, and space, and all of that. Um, I'm going to be bringing my own printer, my own scanner. So two questions. Who is Jean? Jean. This is Jean Tansy. Uh, she is the owner of 344 Second Street. Oh, okay. and I got oh, it on video. Oh, <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Just keep going. Yep. <laughs> Just keep going. Not in front oh, of the Oh, hi, person. Carolyn. Hi. Carolyn and yourself, Drea, you two have been amazing with connecting 344 Second Street to so many artists in the Capital Region, especially SUNY and the a lot. Um, so, and they've been coming down and showing interest and asking about group shows that are coming up and et cetera. So it's been, it's been a great um, partnership. Yes. It's yeah. been so great to work with. Um, this show is so easy to put up with her help. I greatly appreciate it. And we get to keep it open for two months. So there's another closing reception. I hope that everyone can make it. Um, and again, if people are taking a workshop, so, Drea, can you tell people how they can get in touch with you? Sure. Um, email is probably the best way. Okay. So it's my full name, andreaLarose.studio at gmail.com. So if you want to see the show, uh, make an appointment. Um, I'm pretty available. Let me know what works with your schedule. You can come on by. Or if people want to know anything about the workshop. Or the okay, great. And Jean, how can people get in touch with you if they're maybe interested in showing work? Absolutely. See the space. Yep. So 344 Second Street on Facebook. And let me go get our postcards. Okay. We have information on them. Go ahead. So we will have some open uh, gallery hours uh, today. I'm going to be here till 3. I'm going to try my best to be here every Sunday from 1 to 3, just so that's my work schedule. Um, if you aren't coming to the workshop but you still want to see the show, this will be open. So you are more than welcome to come. Uh, the workshop times are, um, I'm sorry, October uh, 22nd, so a week from today, from 12 to 3, and then 3 to 5. So even if you're not taking a workshop, the door will be open, come on in, take a look at the work. Um, and then November 12th, same time, it's from 12 to 2, and then 3 to 5. So these are the postcards you might see around town as well as in Albany. So we can be reached at 344 Second Street Troy at Gmail. Um, and also, I'm um, getting our Instagram more active, so that's 344 Second Street Troy. And I also want to put a plug in another artist who received the um, Art Center grant. This is 
Andrea Williams. And so she's going to be having a workshop here on November 19th. And that will be two workshops in one day. And so that can be, you'll see these all over as well as you can contact us through our Facebook. Okay, that sounds great. It's a collage workshop. So okay. she's a sound artist. So she used the grant to buy recording in, um, equipment. She's going around Troy. She is recording sounds of Troy. So folks will come in. She first does a guided meditation and then the soundscape while folks are laying on yoga mats with pillows and blankets. Then they go up and have a break, come back down and tables and chairs and art supplies will be set up and then making collages based on the visual experience of the soundscape. Oh, that's really innovative. Great, thanks, Jean. You're welcome. There we have it. All right.